Is today's real estate boom on the same crash course as the real estate bubble of the mid 2000s that wrecked the economy? My name is Michael Recipe with Keller Williams coming to you from Raleigh, North Carolina. It is July 29th, 2021. And I would like to share with you four differences between today's economy and the mid 2000s. Now, when you look at our economy and the real estate specifically, um, home prices are rising at a historically fast rate. We're seeing appreciation rates in the last 12 months of greater than 20% in many places throughout the US. Um, there's actually some differences between today's real estate boom and the boom of the mid 2000s. CNN Business re released an article this week and I like to share those differences. Number one, today's market, we are in a housing shortage. When you look at the mid 2000s, they were building over 2 million new homes per year. And today we're only building about 1.6 million. In the mid 2000s, they actually had an uh, oversupply of homes where today we have a, a shortage of homes. The net, when you look at nationally, there's about 2.6 months of inventory available. In a healthy market, you'd wanna have at least six months of inventory. Number two, mortgage lending. Mortgage, mortgage lending has changed dramatically. It's not easy to get a loan today. Back in the mid 2000s, they would give loans to just about anybody. Um, there were loans known as ninja loans, where there was no income requirement, no job requirement, no asset requirement, and there was even sometimes no documentation required. The government has since cracked down on these type of loans. Number three, adjustable rate mortgages. Back in the mid 2000s, the adjustable rate mortgages peaked at 21% in 2006. 21% of the, of the mortgages that were securitized were arms. Today, only 2% represent an arm. So if the government does hike up rates, which they will, because that will cool the market, that means that less people will be impacted uh, by having a larger mortgage payment. And then number four, um, homeowner balance sheets are stronger than ever. Uh, debt as a percentage of disposable income peaked in 2007 at 7.2%. When looking at today, it's actually at a 40 year low in 2021, where it actually was down to 3.4%. So that's some four differences that uh, today's market versus the mid 2000s. Now, nobody can predict real estate and what's going to happen, but you can see that there's some clear differences. Again, my name is Michael Recipe with Keller Williams coming to you from Raleigh, North Carolina. If I can help you out, feel free to reach out. And as always, have a fantastic day.